And on Capitol Hill, we are witnessing the end of an era. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, the first and only woman to hold the job, announced she will not seek a leadership position in the next Congress, though she says she will continue to represent her district. Nicole Killing is on Capitol Hill with more on this story. Nicole, good morning to you. The Speaker is winning rare praise from both sides of the aisle, and I understand there were a lot of tears in the room yesterday. Yeah, a lot of tears and a lot of hugs, Gail. And, you know, listen, it's no secret that Speaker Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell didn't always see eye to eye. But in his statement last night, he called her impact consequential and said her path-breaking career is one that will long endure. I will not seek re-election to Democratic leadership in the next Congress. With that announcement Thursday, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi ended speculation about her political future. For me, the hours come for a new generation to lead the Democratic caucus that I so deeply respect. And reflected on her legacy as the first and only female speaker. Never would I have thought that someday I would go from homemaker to house speaker. In fact, I never... <laughs> Thanking her husband, Paul, who was recently attacked, the 82-year-old mother of five was applauded by lawmakers on the left and some on the right, embraced by colleagues in the well of the House, like Congresswoman Barbara Lee, who serves with Pelosi in the California delegation. She's been such a great leader who has led us through many, many, um, as I said, transformational policies, the Affordable Care Act, uh, the Infrastructure Bill, the Inflation Reduction Act. First elected in 1987, Pelosi earned the speaker's gavel in 2007. Nancy Pelosi, I extend to you this gavel. Thank you. And again in 2019. The power of the speaker is awesome. Awesome. She worked with at least four presidents, some she got along with, others she did not. Her exit comes as Majority Leader Steny Hoyer also announced plans to step down from leadership, clearing the path for a potential new crop of leaders, including Democratic caucus chair Hakeem Jeffries, who is expected to announce his bid for minority leader today. I think we all hope in whatever capacity we find ourselves in to continue to benefit from the wisdom, guidance and advice Speaker Nancy DeLisandro Pelosi. Now, if elected, Jeffries would become the first African-American to lead a party in Congress, and he would primarily be tasked with taking on GOP leader Kevin McCarthy, who was recently nominated as speaker after Republicans were projected to flip the House. McCarthy notably was not present during Pelosi's speech, telling reporters he was in meetings. David? Mm. Nicole. Thank you.